Hi everybody, this is Dr. Claw, and I am here to give you a basic overview of how to use Yellow Dig. Uh, this will orient you and give you some tools to use it effectively. So first of all, what I'm going to show you is an old class that's already concluded. This was a class I taught in spring 2019, and I want to use this one because it's filled with content, which means I can show you how to start navigating through Yellow Dig um, when there is content on it, which is going to look different from how you first encounter it at the beginning of a term when there's very little content on it. Okay, so first of all, um, this works like a social media board. So people can make posts and you'll be able to see who made them. So I made this one. Uh, there will be a title and content. Sometimes there will be things embedded like a video or a website. There is a tag. So usually when I post something, if it's about course content or an assignment or something, I'll use the instructional tag. And then um, people can comment on it. I myself have bookmarked it. That's why this turned dark blue. And that means that anytime someone comments on it or likes it or something like that, um, you'll get a notification. And so that's a good way to keep track of a post. Um, if if you want to make sure that you're paying attention. Just a second, my dog is barking and I have to go deal with her. Okay, sorry about that. It was probably a squirrel or something. Anyway, uh, so anyway, bookmark things that you want to keep track of. That means you'll get a notification for them. Um, you can always see the comments that people are making. And um, the other thing that you can do here is save something as new. So if you are scrolling and maybe not taking a moment to look at whatever the post is, you can save it as new and then it will show up in the unread category up here, which is a quick way to find whatever post you have not yet read, obviously, because they're unread. Um, so that would be one way to navigate through the course. So you come in, you want to see what's new, click the unread only, and it will take you over to that. The other thing that, since we're talking about kind of navigating right now, let's go ahead and do more of that. The other thing that you can do is you can filter by date, user, bookmarks. So again, that would be something that, um, you had already planned to keep. You can filter by the board owner's content, which that would be my content. However, that's a little bit clunkier because for some reason Yellow Dig doesn't just do my pins, which would be like the original content that I'm posting, but it would show you all of my pins and all of my comments. And you know, I'm your instructor, so I comment on most of the pins that anybody posts. Uh, so that can get out of control. A better way to find what you're looking for is to look at the topic section. So as we begin a course, you'll post and introduce yourself, post and tag it with this. So that would be an easy way to find um, those. Or maybe if you are looking for a recent instructional post that you know I, I posted. And then you can always expand that out with all topics. So. Um, I will usually include topics that are relevant to the course that we are working on. So if you're in British literature, these are not going to be the topics that you're going to see. Whereas if you're in business writing, these are probably going to be pretty similar. Okay, so that's the easiest way to find content and to kind of navigate through Yellow Dig once it gets really full of content is through these tags. And that's why it's so important for you to include a tag when you are posting as well. Okay, so another thing to talk about is the point system. Um, Yellow Dig will let you know how many points you have, um, and, and it will tell you how many you have per week. Um, and it will give you a sense of what you're aiming for if you go to uh, how points work. And this gives you a breakdown. And for some classes, these numbers are going to be different, so make sure you do go into your own Yellow Dig board and have a look at these um, to see, well, what will I get if I create a pen? Okay, so 10 points for this class. Comments are 5 points for this class. So basically, I'm trying to encourage a conversation where you get the most points for starting a conversation, so creating a pen, um, but you also get points for interacting and with another conversation and building off of what someone else has said. So Yellow Dig will assign all of these points automatically. There is a weekly max to the number of points that you can get. Um, and that means that I expect you to participate on Yellow Dig throughout the term. So you can't get all of your Yellow Dig points 
all at once. Like you can't wait till the end of the term and do them all then. You can't uh, do them all at the beginning of the term. The idea is that this is a consistent conversation that we are having as a class. Um, it's a way for us in our online class to actually have some interpersonal interaction and to uh, have these conversations with one another about our class content. So just keep that in mind. You need to be participating on Yellow Dig every week. And I do also assign quality points so at the end of the term, I'll look back at the quality of the pins and the comments that you made and evaluate those. So don't just pin to pin. Pin when you have something to say, when you have um, an, an interesting uh, reaction or take on something that we've been reading or talking about. Okay, and as a reminder, uh, you can always access that information under How Points Work, which is right under the big icon that has your points. Okay, the other important thing that you'll need to know is um, it's the settings. Yes, it should be over here in settings. It's how to make sure you get notifications when I actually post something. So it's not in settings, actually. Um, it's going to be in your profile. Account settings. So you'll click on your picture in the drop-down menu and click on account settings. Um, and you want to go over to notification settings. So this, the first checkbox that you can check <laughs> is the one that um, I and Yellow Dig highly recommend, which is to get notified when the board owner pins on a board you're following. And so since I changed something here, it gave me the option to save settings. So when you come in here, just make sure that once you have identified how you want to get notified. So maybe you, you want to know when someone replies to your comment or um, you want to know when someone comments on your pin and um, you would check that box and once you're done checking everything, oh yeah, get reminders from your administrator to participate, that's probably a good one too, um, then you'll save your settings. The other thing to know is that in Yellow Dig you can mention someone with an at symbol and if you are asking me a question about class, about a reading, about any kind of instruction, please include the at symbol and tag me with my name because if you don't do that I might not get a notification that you asked me a question and so I won't answer it. So um, I, I want to answer your questions. I just need to make sure that I know that they're there. So this is very important that you use the at symbol um, and you can check that uh, you get notified when someone does mention you. So once you're done deciding which ones you want to keep, click on save settings. And the reason that I recommend you get notified when I pin something is this is actually probably the most efficient way to make sure that you see all of the instructional content that I post on Yellow Dig. Because sometimes I'm going to post more than once. So when you log in, um, I, there might be something I've posted earlier in the day that's buried down in the scroll screen. But if you are signed up to get notifications, you'll actually get an email with the content of the pin that I made. So it's basically like getting the instructional content emailed to you. Um, you could even set up a folder in your email so that these are really easy for you to find and go back and look at when you're completing your assignments. Uh, so I highly recommend that. All right, so now that you've set up your notifications, you can just go back to um, the board that you want to look at. So I think we were looking at spring 2019 business writing. Um, so you'll click on that board and Yellow Dig can be a little slow switching between boards and switching between screens and that sort of thing. So uh, just be patient with that. Um, and that is the main gist of Yellow Dig. There's other more advanced stuff that you could do with it, but I think this is the most important stuff for you to know in order to get started. So if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to hop on over to Yellow Dig, read my in introductory post, and then create your own introductory post um, using whatever guidelines I have set up there. Thanks for listening.